At the start of our ladder basics video, we just wanted to talk about some safety tips for us to remember while we're carrying and throwing ladders. The first you've heard before, but it's still critically important, and that's to use proper lifting technique whenever possible. Use your legs to lift. They should be the biggest and strongest muscles in your body. Save your back. Learn the balance points of your ladders and use them. This will make it easier to maneuver it as you carry. It will also keep you from having to fight the ladder to the front or to the back as you approach your target. If you haven't already, mark the balance points of your ladders with some type of marking. This will just make them easier to find and that much less to think about on the fire ground. The next one's training. The techniques in this video and other techniques you may learn can only make you successful if you practice them. Most of these skills are pretty simple, and as with any technique, the more you practice, the more proficient and smooth you'll be when you need it. The third is your anatomy and your body composition. This is most evident in a throw from a high shoulder carry. A taller person will have an easier time accomplishing this, but if you're not as tall, you may have to shift the ladder back a rung or two and then overcome that leverage to keep the ladder from skipping across the ground. Again, unless you're practicing these techniques, you won't know if this affects you. That brings us to the last point, and that's know your own capabilities and limitations and then train together as a crew so you can learn from each other. This will not only make you better at any given task, but it will also make you all better as a fire company. Hi, right, this is my partner John Dannon. He's going to be showing us how to do a suitcase carry, as well as loading tools on the ladder. Uh, we encourage loading ladders with tools as it increases the speed and efficiency on the fire ground. Just be cognizant that when you do load tools onto a ladder, it changes the balance point of the ladder so it just is necessary. He's showing us how to load a roof hook and a halligan onto the ladder. And then he's going to be taking it away doing a suitcase carry like we said. Uh, some of the pros of the suitcase carry is you have a full field of vision as you're walking and it makes it easier to handle the tools because you have another hand available. Uh, the cons is you're using small muscles to carry the ladder and you also have to change your platform before you throw the ladder. The first thing we gotta do is identify the balance point of the ladder. The ladders are marked with paint or tape on the balance point. Once we found that, we're gonna push the halyard up and put our arm underneath the halyard. We do that to avoid getting caught up on it when we have to pull our arm back through the, uh, the rungs. The pros of this carry is it keeps the weight on the center mass of your body and you're using large muscles to carry the uh, ladder. It also frees up your hands to carry more tools. Uh, the con is you have to change the ladder's platform to be able to throw it. Same thing as the low shoulder carry, you're going to identify the balance point, and then you're going to pop the, uh, the ladder onto your shoulder. We know you won't always be able to pull these ladders out of the back of a ladder truck or off a nice shoulder height ladder rack. So we wanted to show you a few tips for getting these ladders off the ground and into a low shoulder and a high shoulder carry. We're not going to talk about suitcase carry because it should be evident you just beam the ladder and walk away. To go from the ground to a high shoulder carry, John first beams the ladder, then lifts it to his hip, allowing him to reposition his hands and lift the tip of the ladder to his shoulder. Then. Rung by rung, he moves toward the balance point until the ladder naturally drops level. For a low shoulder carry, he again beams the ladder and lifts it to his hip, this time near the center of the ladder. With his legs holding most of the weight, he can identify the balance point, put his arm through, and lift it to the low carry position. It requires a little more strength, but you can change your platform from a low shoulder to high shoulder before you throw. 
When John decides to make the change, he lowers it from his shoulder to his hip, letting the weight of the ladder rest on his legs. Repositioning his near hand to the lower beam and using his legs to give him a little pop, he lifts the ladder to the high carry position. If you lack the strength or just haven't mastered it yet, you can drop the ladder to your hip, let the butts burst to the ground, and then back down the ladder to the point you can shoulder it, and then work your way back to the balance point. The most basic single firefighter throw is called the into the wall method. There's a couple reasons to keep this throw in your toolbox, such as high winds that would threaten a freestanding ladder or extremely graded terrain. However, this throw has some pretty severe limitations when it comes to any protrusions from the side of the structure, such as awnings, balconies, or a large soffit on the roof line. For a low shoulder carry, as soon as the butt spurs will reach the wall, lower the weight of the ladder onto your hip, allowing you to reposition your near arm to the lower beam and then in one fluid motion, press the ladder overhead and then into the wall. The throw away will take a little training to master your technique, but once you do, it'll be one of the best tools in your ladder throwing toolbox. This throw allows you to hit virtually any target on the structure. Just be aware of high winds or any overhead obstacles. No matter what carry you choose to approach your target with, you'll probably have to change your platform to a high shoulder to accomplish this throw. There's a few different ways to throw a ladder away from the structure and each requires a little different skill set. One or a combination of these techniques should allow you to use your strengths to be successful. In this example, John's chosen a high shoulder carry to approach his target. He's slid the ladder back a rung or two, and he's already in position to overcome the leverage and throw this ladder. As he begins the throw, he pulls the rungs in and up toward himself and uses his shoulder to drive the tip skyward. This gives him the momentum to drive the butt spurs into the ground, lift the ladder vertical, and then gain control of the beams. He then uses the inside of his boot to stabilize the ladder, leans the ladder slightly away from himself to counteract the pull of the halyard and raises the fly section. Remember to gain steady control of the ladder before you raise the fly section. If you feel like you're losing it, let go of the halyard with one hand and grab a beam. If that doesn't solve your problems, lock the dogs and use both hands. Then once you've regained control of your ladder, continue raising the fly section. Tommy has a low shoulder carry as he approaches his target. As he begins his throw, he changes his platform to a high shoulder and then lowers the butt's burst to the ground. It's important to note that he's standing at his target spot for the ladder throw. The butt spurs are well in front. He then pulls the rungs one at a time up and into his chest as his shoulder pushes away, lifting the ladder vertically. After stabilizing the ladder in position, he can raise the fly just as before. Taller firefighters are going to have an easier time overcoming the leverage to accomplish this throw and may not need to choke up on the ladder at all. For the rest of us, it takes a little more technique to accomplish this throw. I'm using a longer straight ladder to exaggerate the technique of pulling rungs toward you and absorbing the weight behind you. Now that we've gone over throws, we just wanted to give you a couple tips on how to control these ladders as you lower them into the building. Standing on the bottom rung and holding the beams only works for the first few feet, after which you lose more and more control the closer the ladder gets. John steps to the side of the ladder and places the inside of his boot on the beam. With his other foot, he steps forward underneath the ladder. This allows him to shift his center of gravity to match the ladder's weight as it moves closer to the building. Here's another example from just a different angle. You can see the control that you're able to achieve with this technique, even with the 24-foot ladder extended. You're able to completely control the descent of the ladder into the building and even draw it back to vertical if you need to. This should help eliminate the possibility of creating an uncontrolled vent by accidentally breaking glass. Two-person carry and throw. John and Brandon have a two-section 35, which is typical of our ladder trucks here in Aurora. 
Notice John's inside foot is butting the ladder as he tries to take some of the weight from Brandon. This will allow him to stabilize the ladder as it approaches vertical without having to shift his feet. Once the ladder is raised, they'll go toe to toe on the beam before Brandon starts raising the fly section. Once they've reached their target height, John steps back, Brandon puts a foot on a rung, and they control the ladder into the building. Three firefighter carry and throw. As they pull the 35 off the truck, they settle into a suitcase carry with two on one side, one on the other. As the ladder reaches vertical, two firefighters will go toe to toe on either side of the ladder. The third firefighter will shift to the side the halyard pulley faces because as the ladder is extended, the halyard will pull the ladder in that direction. This firefighter will stabilize the ladder left and right and this firefighter will stabilize it front to back. Once the ladder is raised to the height you want, the firefighter that's stabilizing from left to right will slide under the ladder with the halyard operator and control the ladder's descent to the building. Thanks for watching this video on the basics of carrying and throwing ladders. Remember, there's tons to learn in a subject like this that we can't include in a 15 minute video. Train and learn with your peers. And remember, a ladder doesn't do anybody any good sitting on the back of the truck. Don't be scared to clear that ladder bed.